So we're going to be looking at the hip bump sweep from the closed guard, okay, as well as some ideas and some combinations you can do uh, from the basic sweep, okay, because the simple idea is just trapping his arm, trying to bump him over, okay, but we can use this uh, to make him post hands on the mat and attack some different uh, uh, submissions from there. Okay, so we'll look at just the basic mechanics of the hip bump and then some combinations you can do from there. The basic idea, guys, with the hip bump is if your partner's postured away from you, okay, and really like sitting back on his heels or you feel his, his weight is more back here, okay, we're just gonna try to get up to a hand here, feet on the floor, okay, try to remove his post on that same side and then use a hip bump, okay, to bump him over and then land in the mat. Okay, if he's posturing away from me, okay, getting myself up to my elbow here. Okay, I can put my feet on the floor for a second to help as well. Okay, I'm squeezing my knees together. Okay, and I'm getting up to my side here. Okay, almost like I'm trying to put my armpit on top of his shoulder. Okay, so I'm sitting up and then I'm trying to cover his armpit here with my shoulder, feet on the mat. Okay, I'm gonna try to clip his triceps here. Okay, I could grab his sleeve at the hand. Okay, anything again will do. We're just trying to remove the post, okay? So if he puts his hand here, this will give him some stability and enable him to start pushing back on top of me, okay? This also gives me some opportunities to attack, okay, with different submissions, okay? But for now, the basic idea will be to remove that post, okay? Maybe I'm grabbing his elbow here, okay? Maybe I'm grabbing his sleeve, okay? But as long as he can't put his hand onto the floor, okay, he will fall on that same side. I think it works best when your partner is sitting back Okay, if he's posting on me vigorously here, using his grips correctly in my armpits and stuff, and I'm trying to sit up, okay, this would not be a good time to try to hip bump someone. Okay, but if he doesn't have his hands on me, okay, he's sitting back, okay, and I can see the opportunity to sit up here, okay, I'll do so, okay? So I can open my guard, bump, sit up, and then get my hip really tight to him. Hold his tricep, okay, hold his sleeve, use your hand on the mat here, use your two feet on the mat, and you drive your hips in, get your head nice and high, your hips nice and high, and then knock them over, okay? Same with any sweep from close guard to mount. We wanna lock our hips straight away, okay? Try to stay low and expect him to bridge a lot uh, once I get to the top position. I feel my partner is sitting back, okay? There's nothing stopping me from sitting up. Okay, I get up to my hand, my feet are on the mat here, I'm blocking his arm, and then I'm driving my hips in uh, to finish, okay? So really simple. Uh, effective sweep from the closed guard, especially when someone's weight is back. Okay, so uh, let's just look at some different ideas and combinations you can use uh, when you use the hip bump. Okay, so we sit up here. Okay, I get my armpit onto his shoulder. I bump him and he does the natural thing and his hand goes to the floor and I can't keep his hand off the mat. Okay, so this is a really good opportunity to connect to a Kimura. Okay, I can reach for his wrist here. Okay, fall back to my guard. Okay, and start shifting off and then attacking with the Kimura. Okay, I'll show the details of this uh, in a separate video. Okay, but just so you guys get the idea with the hip bump sweep, we can use it to actually fully mount him and we can also use it to make him post hands on the mat for other attacks. Okay, so I'm sitting up here. Okay, I make him post. Okay, I reach for his wrist. Okay, I reach over the top and then I'm falling to the back here. Okay, with the Kimura grip ready to go. Okay, the second idea you can work from here is instead of reaching up over his shoulder, okay, like so, okay, I can use like a collar tie grip here, or just a armpit on this side of his head, okay, feet to the floor, and then bump the hips, okay. I know he's gonna put his hand on the floor here, okay, to react, so I'm gonna climb my leg up over the top of his shoulder here, okay, so my left leg, okay, is gonna climb, okay, and this will give me a good hook here to make this leg light. Okay, now I can fall to my back, and I have the start of a trap triangle, I can continue finishing the triangle like so. Okay, so I can sit up, bump him, okay, expect him to put his hand down. Okay, my weight is in my hand here. I climb my leg up first, okay, and bite my heel down here. Okay, this gives me some purchase to take this leg out, just for a second, okay, to throw my triangle. I have him in the trap triangle, now I grab his head and try to start finishing like what we did before. Hip bump is great for bumping and actually just getting to the mount if he doesn't post. Or it's also great because you know his reaction is gonna be to put the hand on the mat. Okay, and we can be ready here with a Kimura attempt, okay? Or if my arm is on this side, I can be setting up the triangle, okay? Hand on the floor, climb your leg, and then climb your other leg over the shoulder here, okay? So basic ideas will be looking to attack it whenever you don't feel like you're 
chest is being controlled here. Okay, sitting up, I can go over the shoulder here and look for the full bump here to the mouth. Okay, I can look for him to post and I can go to his wrist here and look for the Kimura. Okay, and I can also be bumping him here, trying to jump and get to my trap triangle position. Okay, so sitting up, bump, trapping his arm and bumping him over or using the bump to expect the post and then countering with another submission there. So that's the basic idea with the hip bump. You're either gonna mount the person or you know the hand will go to the floor. You're ready with your double attack to go Kimura or to try to climb your legs to the triangle. The details of those submissions uh, will be in the basic triangle or in the basic Kimura video.